Welcome back to Full Circle Florida. So how do you fix American democracy? Try electing more members of Congress. Um, Dustin, explain what proportional representation is and why you think it could actually save democracy as we know it in America. So proportional representation is a system where a political party's amount of the vote translates directly into their number of seats in the legislature. So Fix Our House, our organization is advocating for proportional representation in how we elect the U.S. House of Representatives. Currently, we have a winner-take-all system with something called single-member districts. So in a state like Florida, there's 28 districts with one representative representing each district. What that allows is for a representative to, you know, to run in an election and get maybe 51% of the vote and their opponent gets 49% of the vote. The candidate with 51 gets 100% of the seat and the candidate with 50 with 49% uh, of the vote gets 0% of the seat. And those voters who chose that candidate go home with, you know, no representation at all. So a proportional system would mean uh, larger districts with multiple representatives in each one. So maybe Florida would have five or six or seven districts with multiple representatives in each elected in proportion to their party's amount of support. So real differences uh, in the vote translate directly into, uh, into your share of seats. What that does uh, is it, uh, it eliminates the winner take all binary us versus them dynamic that parties are are motivated by and that that you know trickles down into into the division and polarization that we see throughout the united states today um this is a way to get conservatives elected again in liberal areas and liberals elected again in conservative areas and actually break up this two-party system where each party is is motivated to make life as hard as possible for the other side <laughs> And, uh, you know, and, and win at all costs right. because we have a fundamentally winner take all well, system right now. There are definitely 50 shades of gray when it comes to what people want in their politics. And people are definitely thirsty for an alternative. And this would, you know, populate uh, the political landscape with more parties. But I'm just wondering <clears throat> from the critical side of this, if you looked at it, would that necessarily uh, be a good thing when it comes to coming to some sort of agreement or would it lead to a debate being pulled in four or five or six different directions and and even more gridlock yeah that's a great question um we see i mean about 80 percent of the world's democracies use a more proportional system and we just tend to see better results uh there and that's because the winner take all dynamic in our politics today encourages gridlock because the minority's motivation uh, and incentive is to again make make action as hard as possible from the majority. Uh, the two parties are permanent enemies um, because again, like the nature of our election is to just get one more vote than the other side. And uh, if you have to win through kind of a lesser of, of two evils logic, then so be it. Uh, that's not a system that is is motivating action and results. Whereas in a proportional system, you lose that uh, dynamic of, of win at all costs or lose everything. Um, which means you don't have permanent enemies. So your your friend on one issue might be your enemy tomorrow. Your enemy on on the different issue might be your friend the next day, uh, and and you lose that constantly escalating um, uh, motivation in our politics. Um, and and you get you get candidates and, and parties that are actually motivated to to get results that they can can run on because like uh, like Lee Drutman, our, our co-founder, says all the time, you don't have. Uh, there's no such thing as, as lesser of five evils, right. lesser of three well, evils. And that only works in a two-party system. Politics has become war in America, and it's funded by a cottage industry, maybe not so cottage anymore, uh, of big political uh, campaigns, donations, money is feeding this beast. So how realistic is it for this to become an actual reality in the American system, uh, which does make money off the very division uh, that leads to what you're saying, which is, you know, solutions stuck in neutral. Uh, do you have any kind of ground swell of support to actually make this uh, a reality? Because I think people are hearing what you're saying and they're saying, sign me yeah. up for that, but they don't control the system. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a that's a good question. So Fixer House, you know, our organization and others that are, are increasingly supporting this reform, we don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. Um, we're trying to to build support for this over time and to make sure that it's a well understood reform on Capitol Hill so that the lawmakers can pull this off the shelf when a window for reform opens. And we do think that a window for reform is going to open in the future. We see throughout American history after periods of dysfunction like the one we're in, it often leads uh, directly to a period of reform when, you know, Americans just say we're sick of the system when we need action. These situations where uh, politicians tend to forget who they actually work for and maybe it's time to have more voices out there who uh, are more directly accountable to the people they supposedly represent. Dustin Wall, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Next on Full Circle Florida, your voice on the state's insurance crisis.